गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेर सॉल्विंग अबाउट द सेवेंथ चैप्टर द कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री नाउ फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर एट दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्री फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस चैप्टर यू नीड टू नो दैट वॉट ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज राइट सो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री बेसिकली इट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन the lines lines or you can also call it as the sides and the angles of any triangle a relation between the sides or lines and the angles of any triangle is explained in the term trigonometry right so basically you need to know that whenever we come with a terminology that a trigonometry at that time the first thing that must come to your mind is a triangle <coughs> is it clear so trigonometrical sorry trigonometry basically always deals with a triangle now to understand this topic introduction to trigonometry we are going to use only and only the right angled triangle right right angled triangle now you must know what is a right angled triangle right angled triangle that means any one of the angle is 90 degree 90 degree that means it is called as the right angled triangle and the side opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse right this is the right angled angle so this is the basic description of a right angled triangle that any one of the angle is 90 degree and the side opposite to the 90 degree is known as the hypotenuse so in this topic in this chapter friends we are going to maximum deal with the right angled triangles only right so let us see what the topics in this chapter are covered and then we shall move on to the topics one by one so in this chapter friends you are going to learn about the trigonometric ratios then the trigonometric identities then the trigonometric ratios for complementary angles and the trigonometric values at specific angles these are the four topics that we are going to study in this chapter the trigonometric ratios trigonometric identities trigonometric ratios for complementary angles and the trigonometric values for some specific angles is it clear so basically friends this chapter is the most important chapter of this standard and also this will be helpful for you for the upcoming years that means in the 11th standard and 12th standard so basically you are going to learn most of the things related to the trigonometry here itself in this chapter and in the further standards you are going to learn about the application of this trigonometry okay now let us start with the very first topic that is trigonometric ratios so friends as you know what the ratios are right we already know what the ratios are trigonometric ratios ratios basically means what does this ratios mean ratio ratios basically means there is a term like numerator and a denominator 
right and when we write down this in the form of numerator and denominator numerator upon denominator that becomes a ratio ratio this word is used to find out the rational numbers which are denoted in the form of p by q so this rational numbers are again denoted in the form of a ratio p by q or p upon q and that again comes from the word ratio right so that is about the trigonometric ratios now friends in this topic trigonometric ratios let us see what the things are being included so first of all friends i would like to draw a right angle triangle here a right angle triangle abc this is my a b being a right angle and c this right angle basically means 90 degree right so that is my right angle triangle that i am going to use here right angle triangle abc now the side opposite to 90 degree that is known as the hypotenuse if i say this as my ideal angle angle c then this ab that is known as side opposite to angle c and this is known as side adjacent to angle c adjacent that means near near and opposite that means opposite to or far away from that so this is our ideal angle angle c and this is ab that is the side opposite to angle c and bc is the side adjacent to angle c so here from this figure if i write it down like this then will this create any doubt to you that rather than writing down in the figure let us keep it neat and tidy here ab that is equals to side opposite to angle c bc is the side adjacent to angle c and ac is the hypotenuse right so these are the three terminologies that comes from this triangle if we have taken c as our ideal angle now if we take angle a as our ideal angle or our reference angle then the things will be reversed right this is for c as our reference angle so if we take c then ab that is the side opposite to angle c bc that is the side adjacent to angle c and ac that is called the hypotenuse of the triangle right now coming to the ratios friends so ratios basically are there are six different ratios that we use here for the angles either of a or either of c so first of all if we are taking for angle c then we will get six different ratios for each of them and that comes to us as sin sin of angle c basically denoted by sorry let me write it down like this that sin the first ratio sin of angle c basically denoted as sin c is sorry is given by the side 
ऑपोजिट टू एंगल सी डिवाइडेड बाय द हाइपोटेनस दिस रेशियो दैट इज साइन ऑफ एंगल सी डिनोटेड बेसिकली एज साइन सी is given by side opposite to angle C upon hypotenuse. So what is side opposite to angle C? AB and what is the hypotenuse? AC. So this is given as AB upon AC. Right? That is the trigonometric ratio for sin C. So basically friends now sin C that is equals to AB upon AC. right sin c equals to ab upon ac the second ratio that is the cosine cosine of angle c written basically as cos c is given by the ratio cosine of angle c written as cos c is given by the ratio side adjacent to angle c upon the hypotenuse right now friends what is the side adjacent to angle c that is bc and hypotenuse we already know that is ac so that gives me bc upon ac so the ratio of cos c that is given by bc upon ac right bc upon ac now in the third thing the third function that we have the third ratio that we have is the tangent tangent of angle c tangent of angle c basically friends that is tan c or it is written as tan c basically written as tan c it is given by the ratio that is side opposite to angle c upon side adjacent to angle c so side opposite to angle c upon side adjacent to angle c what is opposite side or side opposite to angle c ab side adjacent to angle c bc so that gives me ab upon bc and hence the ratio is given tan c equals to ab upon bc so we got the third ratio here that is tan c equals to ab upon bc right so these are the three ratios friends that we got from this triangle here the first one again let me recall this the first one is sin of angle c written as sin c is side opposite to angle c upon hypotenuse that is ab upon ac from this figure similarly cosine of c written as cos c in short form this is the full form cosine in short it is written as cos so cosine of angle c is written as cos c is side adjacent to angle c upon hypotenuse which is bc upon ac from this figure now the third one that is tangent of angle c tangent that means tan c is side opposite to angle c upon side adjacent to angle c which is given by ab upon bc right so these are the three basic ratios now we are going to see the fourth one that is cotangent cotangent of angle c in short written as cot c cot c that gives me the ratio this ratio here friends cotangent of angle c 
is exactly inverse as that of the tangent of angle C that is side adjacent to angle C upon side opposite to angle C see in tangent of angle C or tan C we had side opposite to angle C upon side adjacent to angle C now here in this we will be having side adjacent to angle C upon side opposite to angle C and that gives me BC upon AB so basically you can write down the ratio as cot C is equals to BC upon AB which gives me my fourth ratio that is cot C equals to BC upon AB right that is my fourth ratio here friends so first one again sin C that is side opposite to angle C upon hypotenuse cos C side adjacent to angle C upon hypotenuse tan C side opposite to angle C upon side adjacent to angle C cot C that is side adjacent to angle C upon side opposite to angle C the fifth one now I am having that is secant of angle C in short it is written as sec C sec S E C sec C that is equals to hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle C friends you can see here that hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle C that is equals to secant of angle C and cosine of angle C was side adjacent to angle C upon hypotenuse so basically the second ratio and the fifth ratio are exactly inverse of each other as we seen for the third and fourth one right so third and fourth are inverse of each other second and fifth here are also inverse of each other this is given hypotenuse that is equals to AC upon BC so in short friends it is written like sec C is equals to AC upon BC and that is my fifth ratio of the secant of angle C right sec C is equals to AC upon BC and last one for the last ratio that is cosecant of angle C which is shortly written as cosec cosec C it is written as cosec C cosec C given by the ratio that is equals to hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle C so you can friends see here that now the third and fourth were relatable they are inverse of each other second and fifth were relatable they are again inverse of each other and look at the first and the sixth one cosecant of angle C is hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle C sine of angle C is side opposite to angle C upon hypotenuse so you can say that the first one that is sine of angle C and cosecant of angle C are both inverse of each other and hence we get the ratio as AC upon AB so that gives me shortly cosec C is equals to AC upon AB that, that is my sixth ratio and hence these are the six ratios that we get for this triangle triangle ABC having angle B as 90 degree and angle C as our reference angle right so again let us quickly discuss what are the trigonometric ratios that we got from this triangle that is the first one 
साइन ऑफ एंगल सी दैट इज साइन सी इज इक्वल टू साइड ऑपोजिट टू एंगल सी अपॉन हाइपोटेन्यूस which is written as ab upon ac that means sin c is equals to ab upon ac the second one cosine of angle c that is written as cos c is side adjacent to angle c upon hypotenuse written basically as bc upon ac so directly cos c is equals to bc upon ac the third one tangent of angle c that is tan c is written as side opposite to angle c upon side adjacent to angle c that is ab upon bc from the figure so directly we can write it down like tan c is equals to ab upon bc okay the fourth ratio friends cotangent of angle c that is cot c is side adjacent to angle c upon side opposite to angle c so friends from these two the tangent of angle c and cotangent of angle c are relatable that means tangent and cotangent are exactly inverse of each other so cot c can now be written as bc upon ab the fifth one friends secant of angle c that means it is shortly written as sec c that is hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle c that is written as ac upon bc you can relate this secant of angle c with cosine of angle c that is side adjacent of angle c upon hypotenuse so cosine of angle c and secant of angle c are inverse of each other hence you can directly write down like sec c is equals to ac upon bc and last one friends cosecant of angle c that is hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle c shortly written as cosec c that is ac upon ab again this cosecant of angle c and sine of angle c are both relatable because they are exactly inverse of each other hence cosec c directly is written as ac upon ab right so these are the six different ratios friends that we get from this triangle here friends one more thing i would like to add here that the reference angle here this reference angle angle c that we have taken will be an acute angle right because if this becomes an obtuse angle then this triangle will no longer be a right angle triangle right because right angle triangle the property of a right angle triangle is any one of the angles is 90 and the other two angles the other two remaining angles must be less than 90 or acute angle so here angle c must be an acute angle so as to perform these six different ratios right so these are the six ratios that we got here from this triangle so first of all friends i would like you to mention this down and then i shall give you one or two sorry three different ratios that relates these to each other okay so now let me erase this triangle here now as we see here these are the six different ratios that we have got here so the extra thing that we need to understand that is sin c that is equals to 1 upon cos x c और कॉसेक सी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन साइन सी एज यू कैन सी दैट दीज बोथ साइन सी एंड कॉसेक सी आर इनवर्स ऑफ ईच अदर दैट मीन्स साइन सी इज वन अपॉन कॉसेक सी और कॉसेक सी इज वन अपॉन साइन सी द सेकेंड थिंग यू नीड टू लर्न और यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज cos c is equals to 1 upon sec c or sec c that is equals to 1 upon 
cos c right so this is the second ratio that you need to understand that sin c is equal to 1 upon cos x c or cos x equals to 1 upon sin c cos c is equals to 1 upon sec c or sec c is equals to 1 upon cos c and the third one 10 c is equals to 1 upon cot c or cot c is equals to 1 upon 10 c right so these are the three different ratios they are relatable to each other they are relatable to each other from this six different basic ratios which are a must to remember so again let us quickly see that sin c is equals to 1 upon cos x c or cos x c is equals to 1 upon sin c the second one cos c is equals to 1 upon sec c or sec c is equals to 1 upon cos c and the third one tan c equals to 1 upon cot c or cot c is equals to 1 upon tan c so these are the six different ratios friends that we need to understand from this first triangle that we have seen here so these are the ratios just take a look over it and i insist you that you will note this down somewhere in a book so this must be clear now right now friends after seeing that what the trigonometric ratios are we will see how we can obtain these trigonometric ratios when you are given a real example so let us see one of the examples here that i have a question in triangle abc the first question i am having in triangle abc angle b is equals to 90 and sin a is equals to 1 upon 3 find the remaining ratios you need to find out the remaining ratios so we will first of all see that how this figure is obtained in triangle abc angle b is equals to 90 degrees so first of all we will draw a triangle abc with angle b as 90 so this will be b because this shows me 90 degree here and you can take A and C anywhere. If you take A, then here it will be C. If you take C here, then there it would be A. So let me take A here. And this is my C. Right. So I got the triangle ABC. And we are given that sin A here. Sin A is equals to 1 upon 3. Here. Given that. sin a is equals to 1 upon 3 so friends what does this sin a equals to 1 upon 3 this 1 upon 3 here is the ratio right and we cannot say that this is my 1 that means any of the side will be 1 and any of the side remaining will be 3 no it is not possible so first of all we need to take out this ratio that is equals to k let or say this is equals to k therefore or let me write it down like this so as you can understand given that sin a is equals to 1 upon 3 that is equals to side opposite to angle a upon hypotenuse now can you directly relate that side opposite to angle a will be one unit and side sorry hypotenuse will be three units no you cannot directly relate so what we are going to do is we are going to take a proportion here that is equals to k say this is this ratio is equals to k therefore now we can say that side opposite 
टू एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू के एंड हाइपोटेन्यूस इज इक्वल टू थ्री के सो फ्रेंड्स वेन एवर यू आर सॉल्विंग दिस काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स वेन यू आर गिवन अ रेशियो अ ट्राइंगल एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द रिमेनिंग रेशियो एट दैट टाइम यू विल ऑलवेज सपोज दिस थिंग for taking out the ratio to the proportion so now we can directly say that side opposite to angle a this is my angle a here so side opposite to angle a bc therefore bc equals to k and ac is equals to 3k so this will be now k this will be now 3k is this thing clear or not right you can directly write it down now that bc is equals to k and ac is equals to 3k now to find out the remaining ratios friends first of all we will require this side because we require the side adjacent to angle a also no so to find out that here in sorry in okay let me write down here itself in triangle abc angle b is equals to 90 so applying pythagoras theorem what can you write down ए बी स्क्वेर प्लस बी सी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ए सी स्क्वेर वी आर हैविंग ए बी नो वी आर नॉट हैविंग ए बी वी आर हैविंग बी सी येस दैट इज के एंड वी आर हैविंग ए सी दैट इज थ्री के देर फोर ए बी स्क्वेर प्लस के स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू थ्री के होल स्क्वेर विच गिवस मी ए बी स्क्वेर प्लस के स्क्वेर is equals to 9k square therefore ab square is equals to 8k square and hence ab equals to 2 root 2 into k right because square root of 8 is 2 root 2 so we got the value of ab that is now 2 root 2k right ab that is equals to 2 root 2 k so now you can directly apply the ratios we are having the ratios right and this can be directly applied that we have seen here so first the very first ratio that is sin a friends sin a is already given so there is no need to find out the ratio for sin right so we will start with the remaining ratio so the second ratio that is cosine of angle a now now the first ratio that we have is sin a but sin a is already given so we will find out the second ratio now cos a cos a that is cosine of angle a that is side adjacent to angle a upon hypotenuse what is side adjacent to angle a that is ab upon the hypotenuse that is ac this is my side adjacent to angle a this is my hypotenuse and this is my side opposite to angle a so what is ab that we got here that is 2 root 2k upon ac ac is 3k k and k is cancel that is 2 root 2 upon 3 so we got the value for cos a that is 2 root 2 upon 3 is it clear so that is how we find out the ratio so we got cos a that is equals to 2 root 2 upon 3 similarly i can also find out tan a tan a that is side adjacent to hypotenuse no remember friends whenever you are finding out tan a at that time you will have the opposite side first and then the adjacent side so side opposite to angle a that is bc 
अपॉन साइड एडजस्ट टू एंगल ए दैट इज ए बी सो टेन ए इज बेसिकली बी सी अपॉन ए बी विच इज इक्वल्स टू के अपॉन टू रूट टू के के एंड के कैन बी कैंसल विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू रूट टू सो वी गॉट द सेकेंड रेशियो रिक्वायर्ड सेकेंड रेशियो दैट इज टेन ए इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू रूट टू राइट लेटेस्ट फाइंड आउट द थर्ड वन कॉट ए दैट इज साइड एडजस्टेंट टू एंगल ए अपॉन साइड अपोजिट टू एंगल ए और बेसिकली ए बी अपॉन बी सी फ्रेंड्स सी यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट लाइक टेन ए इक्वल्स टू वन सॉरी कॉट ए इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टेन ए दैट वी हैव रिटर्न ऑन दिस पार्ट बिफोर दिस टॉपिक और बिफोर दिस एग्जाम्पल राइट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट डाउन लाइक दैट और इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर दैट देन यू रिमेंबर द रेशियो दैट कॉट ए इज साइड एडजस्टेंट टू एंगल ए अपॉन साइड अपोजिट टू एंगल ए सो दैट इज इक्वल्स टू टू रूट टू के अपॉन के के एंड के कैन बी कैंसल दैट इज टू रूट टू सो द रेशियो फॉर कॉट ए इज टू रूट टू अपॉन वन और सिंपली टू रूट टू सो वी गॉट अवर थर्ड रेशियो द फोर्थ वन दैट वी रिक्वायर इज सेक ए अगेन वॉट इज सेक ए Hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle A. So what is hypotenuse here? AC upon side adjacent that is AB. Okay. So AC. What is AC? Three K and AB is two root two K. So three K upon two root two K. K and K is cancelled and that is equals to three upon two root two. so we got our fourth ratio that is sec a is equals to 3 upon 2 root 2 that is the fourth required ratio and the fifth one let me write down here that is cosec a cosec a that is hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle a so what is hypotenuse here ac upon the side opposite to angle a that is bc what is ac equals to 3k upon the side opposite to angle a is k k and k is cancel that is 3 upon 1 or simply you can write it down like 3 right so these are the six different ratios one of them was given that sin a is equals to 1 upon 3 the remaining five cos a that is 2 root 2 upon 3 tan a is 1 upon 2 root 2 cot a is simply 2 root 2 upon 1 or 2 root 2 sec a is 3 upon 2 root 2 and cosec a is 3 now relate it how see can you find out any similarity between sin a and cosec a see friends sin a is 1 upon 3 and cosec a is 3 So see the values three and one upon three are these two inverse of each other. So you can say that sine a is equals to one upon cos a. Second one cos a and sec a. See cos a is two root two upon three and sec a is three upon two root two. Again they both are inverse of each other. So you can say that cos a is equals to one upon sec a. Or sec a is equals to one upon cos a, and similar relation between tan a and cot a. So tan a is one upon two root two, and cot a is two root two. So again, they both are inverse of each other. That means we can say that tan a is one upon cot a, or cot a is one upon tan a. So in this manner, friends, you can find out the ratios for different angles that are given to us suppose here we were having a sin a equals to 1 upon 3 then we might have some another ratio that is given to us and we need to find out the remaining ratios for each and every function friends this is about finding out the ratios so today we learned about the trigonometric ratios six different ratios 
then an example to solve how to find out the remaining ratios given given that one of the ratio is sin a equals to 1 upon 3 so today so for today we will keep up to this much and in the next lecture we are going to solve some more examples related to the trigonometric ratios thank you friends